This looks just like butter. So I'm going to cut this. It spreads and tastes like it. This was made using that butter. Exactly. And cooks like it. Light, airy. Again, really good. But it's actually a butter alternative made by the company Saver in the suburban Chicago factory. Can we look inside? We can. Here, they're turning carbon dioxide, methane, and water into fats and oils. We take this kind of form of energy that we can then convert into energy that your body can use. And they're making butter without using a single cow or acre of farmland. It's really about sustainability and transforming the food system uh, that we have today. A transformation extending to the kitchen of San Francisco pastry chef Clément Cruffon, who uses savor butter to make dairy-free chocolate bonbons. It's one of the best sellers right now. Really? Yeah, it's very surprising. I was like, oh. It's all part of a growing trend of synthetic foods. Researchers looking to build on the popularity of plant-based alternatives. Companies now able to manufacture everything from foie gras to salmon and even cocoa. Biomedical engineering professor David Kaplan says the foods are practically indistinguishable. These products are very safe and very nutritious. The challenge is how to scale up these processes to make these products available to the wider consumer. And it's a trend that could cut the strain on the environment. The EPA says the agricultural sector accounts for 11% of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. But the response hasn't been positive for all food innovations, with states like Florida and Alabama passing laws to ban so-called lab-grown meats. What do you say to that person who sees this as frankenfood, so to speak? No one's here to tell you what to eat. What we're doing is trying to create a new way to make the food that will be better for you, healthier for you. At Saver, CEO Kathleen Alexander says this is the future of food. We can make fats and oils on 1,000th the footprint of traditional agriculture. Early steps in a food transformation that's happening one bite at a time. Shaquille Brewster, NBC News, Batavia, Illinois. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.